All right, guys, welcome back to Purple Heart Fireworks. Today we're going to be doing something different. We are going to show you how to hook up this Billisonk uh, electric firing system to a firework so that you can light this from far away by using the antennas, by using the remote. Uh, it's much safer and it's much easier to do than just using your typical fuses. So we're going to go through this process today and show you how to do it so that you can do it on your own and set up your whole entire show and uh, make it much easier. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. So first you want to figure out which firework you want to light. Now I've already kind of uh, cut into this one as you can see here, but uh, so I'm going to use it as an example. So um, this is a wonderful 200 gram firework. And so what you would do is you would choose the firework that you want to light. You would take a razor blade and you would cut it around where the fuse is here. Now, the reason you do that is so that you can peel back this outer covering, right? Now, it's okay because this peeling back this outer covering is not going to ruin the firework, right? And like I told you, whenever we do our firework shows, we actually cut off the tops up here so that it reduces the amount of trash that it puts on the ground. So what you do is you cut it and then you peel it back so that this fuse is exposed, okay? You want to see this fuse. Now, the reason you wanna see the fuse is because the fuse is, what's, is what goes into the actual tube right here and inside of the tube is where the gunpowder is. So whenever you like this, it's gonna ignite that gunpowder, boom, and it's gonna shoot off the firework, right? Well, because we don't wanna to have to light these individually and we wanna light them from afar, we are going to use this. Now, what this is, is this is a wire, and on the end of it here is a basically a match. And if you, if you look there, you can see the match and, uh, what happens is whenever you press the button on the firing system, it puts an electrical charge to this and makes this explode. When it explodes, it will either light the fuse or light the gunpowder. Now, with that being said, there are two ways that you can go about hooking up this electrical wire. Now, you can either take this and wrap the fuse around this and then put this sheath over it, basically basically like this now in this scenario it would go all the way over it would cover it and whenever you press the button it would light it it would light the fuse and the fuse would go tss, boom and shoot it off right well we're going to do it a different way and the reason we're going to do it a different way is because it makes it a lot more reliable sometimes when you light these fuses they don't get caught or sometimes uh, they don't go off. So with that being said, what are we going to do? We're going to take this tool right here. Now this tool is called a brass punch, right? Now it has this very sharp tip on it. Now the reason we use brass is because brass metal does not spark, okay? It does not spark. Now we do not want any sparks happening in this tube where the gunpowder is when we are putting metal in there because they could blow up, they could kill us, they could hurt us. This is an explosive, right? So we wanna take this brass punch right here where this fuse is, right? Where, right here, right where the fuse is. And we wanna take this brass punch and we wanna push it in right above where the fuse is and you wanna get in there to where the powder is, right? Now you'll know where the powder is because you can feel it. It's kind of grainy and it's, kind, and it, and it's not like the cardboard, right? It's grainy, it kind of feels like sand, you can tell, right? Then what you'll do is you'll take that opening that we just made there. Let's make sure that it's big enough for us here. All right. And you will take, you will then take this end and you will stick it in right here into 
the actual hole that we just made where the fuse comes out of, right there. Now it's important that you get it in there because then whenever this goes pop, it's gonna light that gunpowder in there and this firework's gonna be lit off. Now what you do from here is you take some tape. We just use some duct tape. Take it off. Tape it up so that you know it's not gonna come out safe and secure, right? All right, that is how you set this part up. Now, let's get over to the firing system. All right guys, here is the actual firing system itself. As you can see, it comes in this case. It's the Bilisonk firing system. Now what this does is this is a system that allows you to use or to, to ignite that fuse from far away. And you do that with this antenna. So you put your batteries in here, as you can see. You then turn it on right here, the key. Now, the most important part about this part is that whenever you look at the actual mechanisms that you get itself to put in the wires, they're labeled with a tin and they go from one all the way up to 12. And then there's four of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This one happens to be a seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 on each. And the reason is, is because there's 12 buttons on here. Now, how does this work? Good question. Since I am using the firing system number 10, I wanna make sure that I'm on the remote control queue 10, right? Because I could be on nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So I wanna go all the way to 10, right? So here we are, right? Firing system 10, firing system 10. All right, now what I would do is I would go to my firework and I would take the fuse that I have put into it, and I would take this and I would put it into the firing system here. Now, the reason I'm not gonna put it in there is because I'm actually gonna show you what happens whenever you press this button. So, you'd put it on like this. It's in number nine. Now, it's firing system 10, Q9. Now, that's important for us to know over here. Whenever we go over here, we see firing system number 10, Q number nine. So then we will press this button whenever we go to light the firework, the firework off here in a little bit. But before that, I actually uh, wired up a test so that I can show you what happens whenever you press this button right here. Now, so it's on the ground. This is just a test to show you what happens. Because this is what's gonna take place whenever you press the button with the firework, right? So, firing 10, Q9, 10, 9. Watch what happens. Oh, I gotta turn the mechanism on, ah, that's fine. All right, here you go. Boom, see that? That's the spark that it does inside of the firework. Now what would happen is this firework would then start shooting off. It would start shooting the fireworks. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside and we are going to hook this up properly and I'm gonna show you how we can shoot this from far away from a safe distance all with the press of a button. All right guys, here we are about to light off this firework. Now we have gone outside, as you can see. We have set this firework up. We have connected the wire that will sh uh, shoot off the firework that will make the spark inside. We put it next to the fuse. The wire goes all the way over here to the transponder. This is number 10. 
make sure that you turn the transponder on. If you do not turn it on, you can press the button all day and it will not do anything. So you turn it on, and when you turn it on, this is what it looks like. Boom, the lights will come on. All right, so now the transponder's there. The firework is set up there. And now we will walk over to our box where we are set up. So what will we do? Take this antenna, pull it up, turn the box on, make sure that we are set to 10 and it's transponder 10, number nine. So when we press that, the firework that is over there will go off. So here we go. In three, two, one. I didn't press it right. Let's see if I'm close enough. Ha, <laughs> this is awesome. I love bloopers. All right, let's assess this situation. <laughs> okay, so it was actually a very easy fix. What happened was whenever I moved this, the wire that goes in that hole came out. And so you have to make sure that you have both. So there's two holes. So a wire goes in that hole, a wire goes in this hole, and they both have to be connect, uh, touching that metal. Otherwise, it won't send the signal to do the spark. So let's do this again. That was awesome. <laughs> That's the greatest firework display ever. So here we go. Back up here. All right. Ten, nine, and three, two, one. Okay, let's see here. All right, guys, so we had to go mess with the wire, so sometimes they connect well, sometimes they don't. You know, we have to remember, you know, that all of this is electrical stuff, so sometimes it works uh, great, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but these are the most reliable way to go about lighting your fireworks. I'm just having a little trouble with it, which is okay, you know, it just shows the human element of it. So we moved it to number 11. Let's see if this works here. Ready? All right, three, two, one. say that worked it was just that certain one that it was in that was not working that was amazing <laughs> all right guys that concludes this video have a great night make sure you come by and see us purple heart fireworks spring texas god bless you guys